it looks like uh, cordial, like just, yeah, some weird flavored cordial. At first, I thought these Instagram photos were Photoshop, but no, it turns out Australia has pink lakes. Water's clear, all blue, all green, sometimes brown. So why are they pink? And why does it happen so much in Australia? Australia is home to hundreds of ephemeral pink lakes. A permanent one is Lake Hillier in Western Australia. I'll admit, it looks fake. <laughs> it's certainly not fake, no. And it is that pink in person. I've been there, I've seen it. It is quite phenomenal to look at. It's like a pink milkshake. Did you drink it? Wouldn't recommend drinking it. In fact, Lake Hillier is 10 times saltier than the ocean seawater is. In 2015, Ken visited Lake Hillier to try and solve the pink mystery. A lot of people knew that there was a certain algae in these salt lakes called Denaliella. And so the theory was that that was going to be the cause of the pinkness. Denaliella salina thrives in super salty water. As the environment in the lake gets more and more extreme, this D. salina starts pumping out as much pigment into its cells to protect it from the UV. The pigment is called beta-carotene, which also gives red cabbage and carrots their colour. Eventually, up to 16% of the dry weight of that, of that cell can be filled full of um, beta-carotene, so the, the more it gets in there, the more red it is. So you tested Lake Hillier's water, but you discovered something unexpected? We confirmed that Denaliella salina, the algae, was there, but it was there in low amounts. And really, one thing stood out to us, and that was this bacteria called Salinobacter ruba. And that bacteria is this pinkish red colour. So is this bacteria why Lake Hillier's colour is so bright? That's more vibrant because the actual bacteria can contain more of the pigment. There's no other chloroplast to contain it. It's just these bacteria cells just fill themselves up. With the help of these critters, Lake Hillier has been pink for centuries but not every pink lake keeps its colour. This is the same lake as what I saw before. Get out of town. No. Well, it's not pink. It's no longer pink. Why? It lost its pinkness. Sure, Lake Hillier is popular now, but in the 80s, it was Pink Lake that got the people excited. You had the Pink Lake Drive-In, Pink Lake Road, Pink Lake Butchers, and all these commercial businesses and places named after Pink Lake, and, and the lake hasn't been pink since the late 1990s. Pink Lake lost its hue due to excessive salt harvesting. Tilo estimates it would take five to ten years of intervention to make it pink again. Tilo, how come you're in your car, man? Is everything all right? Esperance's internet is, uh, is pretty interesting at the best of times. I've gone to the source, so that's why I'm in my, in my car parked under a, a um, 4G, 5G tower. While WA's lakes look like, I don't know, strawberry milk, this one in the heart of Melbourne looks like toxic runoff. Hi, Marty. So this lake, it can't seem to make up its mind. It's dark green on Google Earth, but it's been pink in the past. It's since 2012, it has been pink at times. Um, so the last time it went pink was April 2019. Um, we just haven't seen it return since with the cooler summers we have had. A spell of dry, hot weather will change the salt levels in the lake. It uh, is a natural phenomenon that happens when the, the temperatures are right, um, drying out the, um, evaporating the fresh water element out of the salt water um, that then activates the, the algae, which then give it the pink appearance. There's a dead giveaway when these aquatic changes occur. There is sort of a, a two week period where uh, the, the nose of our range is can um, tell us whether it's going to change or whether it's about to change. There is a lovely um, aroma in the air uh, that um, gives us that hint that, yeah, something's <laughs> changing in the water. It's, it's close to spoiled eggs. Oh, gross. Have you been tempted to swim in it yourself? No, I, I can't say I have been. It's a, a sight to be seen and uh, that's as far as I'm happy to go. How come Australia has so many salt lakes? The combination of our climate, hydrology, hydrogeology, Australia is a very old continent. And underneath those lakes sit saline water tables. And with that, that drying climate and that, that stable hydrology for millions of years, the evolution has just occurred so that these makes sense for these um, these little algae or bacteria to protect themselves from the harsh ultraviolet light. Honestly, there would be hundreds of pink salt lakes in West Australia alone.